glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Clamamus, Exule Spili Heaven, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eia ergo, ad bocata nostra, ilos tuos, mi <coughs> misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum, fructum ventris tui, nobis, pos hoc exilium, ostende, o clemens, o pia, Virgo Maria, <coughs> ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitrix, ut dignipis iamor promissionibus Christi, oremus omnipotens sempeterni Deus, qui gloriose beginis matris Mariae, corpus et animam, O Dium Fili Tui Habitaculo me fece mere retur, Espirito Santo cooperante preparasti, Daut cuius camerazione letamur, Deus pre intercessione abstantibus malis, Era morte perpetua liberemur, Veriundem Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Maneat semper nobis cum. Amen.
Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. St. Andrew the Apostle Parish welcomes you to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Friday, the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. Please all stand to begin the celebration. My brothers and sisters, together with your own individual intentions and the individual intentions of those who join us through live streaming and for the, in the intentions offered in this Mass, we continue to pray for all of us Filipinos that we continue to heed our health protocol so that we can help in ending this pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries and the Holy Eucharist, let us first call to mind when today we renew our devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Let us pause for a short moment to examine ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. John. I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, as you heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one and the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The Word of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. 
Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Leo. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building, on the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So, it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. My brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Mayroong isang teacher noon na pansamantalang maglilib sa kanyang klase Subalit mayroon namang substitute teacher. Bago siya umalis, sinabi niya sa kanya mga estudyante na magbibigay siya ng isang ng premyo sa sino man sa kanila na madatnan niya sa kanyang pagbabalik na mayroong napakalinis at napakaayos na desk. So si Mary, isang estudyante na kilala ng kanyang mga kaklase sa pagkakaroon ng napakagulo at napakakalat na desk ay ipinaalam sa kanila na gusto niyang makuha ang premyo. Pinagtawanan lang siya ng kanyang mga kaklase. Sabi nila, ano ka mo, Ma Mary? Gusto mong disidido kang makuha ang premyo? Eh, tingnan mo yung desk mo, napakagulo, napakakalat, hindi mo man lang maayos-ayos. So sabi ni Mary, tama ho kayo. Pero simula ngayon, aayusin ko na ang aking desk sa bawat simula ng linggo. Eh, sabat naman ng kanyang mga Kaklase. Eh halimbawa, darating ang ating teacher sa katapusan ng linggo. 
Eh kung ganon, sabi ni Mary, lilinisin ko, ayusin ko ang aking desk bawat umaga. Eh sabat naman ng kanya mga kaklase. Eh kung dumating ang ating teacher sa hapon. So napatahimik na si Mary, nag-isip siguro, pagkatapos sinabi niya, ah, alam ko na, aayusin ah, ko at lilinisin ang desk ko sa lahat ng oras. E eh, kapag ganyan ang gagawin niya, siguradong makukuha niya ang premyo. Hindi po ba? So gaya ng teacher sa ating istorya, ang ating Panginoon ay babalik din. Subalit, hindi natin alam kung kailan siya darating. Darating siya ng hindi natin inaasahan. Gaya ng nasasabi sa Ibanghelyo ngayon, darating ang Panginoon gaya ng pagdating ng baha noong kapanahonan ni Noe. Bakit ba nagkaroon ng baha noong kapanahonan ni Noe? Dahil sobrang napakasama na ng mga tao noong kapanahonan ni Noe. Kaya dumating ang baha, pero dumating ito na hindi ina asahan marami ang nadat ng hindi handa. Ganon din ang pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon ayon sa Ebanghelyo ay gaya noong pagkagunaw ng Sodom and Gomorrah. Bakit nagunaw ang Sodom and Gomorrah? Dahil sa sobrang immoral ang mga tao roon. At dumating ang destruction na ito ng hindi inaasahan. Kaya silang lahat ay naging asin. Kahit yung asawa ni Lot ay naging asin. Kasi lumingon pa siya eh. Gayon pa man, sana madatnan tayo ng Panginoon na laging handa dahil tayo ay may malinis at maayos na buhay. Kaya nga mga kapatid, wag nating dungisan, wag nating guluhin ang ating buhay. Dahil sa ating kasakiman sa pera na kahit hindi ating pera pinagkakainteresan pa natin. Ganyan bang mga Pilipino? Ilang pili ibang Pilipino? Alam na alam na natin yan sa balita. Hindi po ba? Umaandar ang kasakiman sa pera. Sana huwag nating dungisan at guluhin ang ating buhay dahil sa kasakiman naman sa sex. Kaya puro na lamang green ang ating isip, salita at gawa. Sana huwag nating dungisan at guluhin ang ating buhay dahil sa kasakima naman sa kapangyarihan na gusto nating kapit tuko sa kapangyarihan kaya para mangyari yan sinisiraan natin ang iba parang ganyan ang nangyayari ngayon kay Trump ayaw umalis dahil Siguro, I don't know, kung sakim siya sa kapangyarihan. So, gaya ni Mary sa ating istorya, sikapin nating ayusin at linisin ang ating buhay 
sa lahat ng oras. At siguradong makukuha natin ang premyo ng Panginoon. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, Father of mercy, so because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from His pierced side, the wellspring of the church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, we might all draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, 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 heaven, heaven and, and earth are full, full of, of your glory. Your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. You are indeed holy, O God, our Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O God, our Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O oh God, our Father, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy, all the religious, and all the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle Saint Andrew the Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we now have the courage to pray to God our Father in heaven that he may deliver us from the scourge of COVID-19. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. But deliver and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O God, our Father, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and the unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you 
always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, whose sacred heart is burning with love for each and every one of us. Happy are you who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May Jesus bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. So to avoid movement, I will be the one to go around for communion. So I will start here and here and there. Please all kneel and let us pray the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. May partakers in your sacrament of love 
We humbly implore your mercy, O God, our Father, that we may be conformed to the sacred heart of Jesus on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some parish announcements. The Archdiocese of Manila will observe World Day of the Poor on November 15, 2020. To highlight this event, we shall distribute grocery packs to 250 identified priority families. Those who wish to be involved in this activity may course donations to the parish office. Hold fast to the hope set before us. We enjoin all to participate, live or online, in our Novena of Prayers and Masses in honor of our patron, St. Andrew the Apostle. Together, let us reflect and act on the theme, Hope in Renewal, in Solidarity and in Mission. Let us, as parish community, experience and foster conversion, fellowship, and closeness. Holy Mass is set at 6.30 p.m. beginning November 21, 2020. November 25 is Red Wednesday, a global event to pray and remember persecuted Christians around the world. The Aid to the Church in Need, or ACN, in this year's observance dedicates this day also for COVID-19 victims and frontliners with the theme, Red Means Love, one Church Against COVID-19, the ACN aims through this celebration to rekindle hope amidst darkness. Let us wear red. This color, according to the ACN Philippines President, Archbishop Socrates B. Villegas, connotes love that is courage, patient endurance, and compassion. Join us live or online for the Holy Mass at 6.30 p.m. Be fervent, be fervent in our prayers for those denied to celebrate and live their Christian faith. Be generous in our love offerings to aid our suffering brothers and sisters. Be courageous. Be patient. Be compassionate. Thank you. Please all stand. My brother, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God continue to bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Go and rejoice because by striving to lead upright and righteous life, you will not be caught and prepared for the coming of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.